I am very confident that India will be the leader of the Global South. This summit will be the biggest, the greenest and most successful one ever in G20. India is an alternative to a better future. This is the biggest challenge ever for this world, but it's also the biggest chance for India to set the direction for the future global world order. That is what India is going to do, and we are so hopeful that India will keep the compass and secure that the needle is pointing at the global agenda that will make us capable of handling all the challenges that we are facing. Climate, shortages of food, fuel, fertilizers. How do we deal with climate financing, digitization? So great hopes as to the Indian presidency. Well, we are facing global warming, pollution, and many other issues. How would you look at it, the importance of G20 in that? It's so important that the global leaders, being here in India, in Delhi, that they agree to a kind of common agenda based on a common perception of all these challenges that we are facing. You are suffering, I am suffering. That's, uh, we can live with that. But all those people who are living in very poor conditions across the world, they need our actions. And since India is having the presidency, I am very confident that India will be the leader of the Global South and will build a bridge between the West, US, Europe, and so forth, Japan, and the Global South, mainly in Africa, but also in Latin America. So big hopes. How would militaries of different countries are coming in India for this summit? First and foremost, it's the first of that kind of international event of that size in India. India has spent a lot of resources in securing that this summit will be the biggest, the greenest and most successful one ever in G20. And G20 is much more relevant than we might think because that will set the direction for how we cope with climate changes shortages of food and all these challenges that are putting the world in a big crisis. How do you look at it? What is your take on that? My take is very clear. We need an alternative to other powers who are debt trapping uh, poor countries. We need a country who is believing in democracy, in rule of law, and that's India. And India is an alternative to a better future where we also work with countries in such a way that they're not being trapped by debt, but they are being given new opportunities. And there the West has to step in. And luckily, India is taking the lead. So we'll have a fantastic summit under the Indian leadership.